Now, as we are done with get transaction data state, as we are able to establish the mechanism of a gateway, and we have the output with us, which will be sent from this particular thing out. That is transaction item, which is a data row and will contain the details of each row as we iterate over through it. Now we have to pass this transaction item to, to the next state that is process transaction state. We had this, so everything is done. It was a one time activity launching the website, downloading it and all that. But this entry data entry thing is a repetitive task. So it should, it will go inside this process transaction state. Okay, here you can see it's also inside a try catch and here we have a new exception that we have already taught in the framework concepts. It is assigned to nothing. We have earlier disabled it. I'm enabling it. Enable activity. You can disable it also. You can use this shortcuts. Control D to disable, Control E to enable. Moving forward. So here, what's the error? It's saying, it's saying data row cannot be converted to queue item. So this thing, this particular argument available inside this particular workflow should be changed. Let's go into it. You will find nothing over here because everything should be done by us. There's nothing that comes by default in this particular process workflow. Let's go here and change this to data row. It's done. Let me go back to us and click on import. Right now it's gone. So I'll just click transaction data. Sorry, it's transaction item. Transaction item. There's no error no more. Okay, let me go to this and what I will do is to show you a simple explanation I'll place in transaction of what was that first name right so earlier we had done some mistake there it's first name dot two string and I'm copying it here it's email the repetitive task that we have will go over here but for now what I'm doing is I'm trying to check the values if you are able to get them in this particular process okay I'm just going back so see what happens if everything goes fine in this okay if there is no exception then we'll find it will reach to finally and this is a workflow we have commented it out i'm just enabling it okay yeah fine there is an error here too so this is something where we will increment the transaction number that we were talking earlier this particular variable it will go from one to two three four five depending on the number of transactions that we have let's go inside it fine uh, ignore this mechanism right now. I'll be taking you through that soon. What I will try to do is I will just change this particular thing. Transaction item to transaction data row because we are working with Excel right now. There is this thing. If you are working with Excel, you can just delete it. Okay, fine anywhere else we are finding the errors here you can delete it here you can delete it delete it okay fine control yes and we have saved it right so now what I will do is I have to click here and It's not nothing, it should be 
transaction item fine okay let me take you so uh, after if there is no error in this process we will reach out to finally and in this we have a whole lot of mechanism so as we have already discussed if the business exception is nothing and system exception is nothing so it meant it was successful so in this particular thing it will be true and it will go to success success uh, state or success sequence you can say if there was any business exception then it will go to this if there is any system exception it will go to this but right now we have went uh, expecting a happy path we'll go to this and we will see this particular validation is no more required here I'm just deleting that and come here what we are trying to do is there are some logs this RE framework will try to do and these are this okay it's saying it should it is successful and it is trying to um, write down the display uh, the transaction number and transaction details and all that fine then later you're just saying that it was successful and then we are removing any log files needed once that is done here see this both are linked to a, another sequence where we are incrementing so whatever transaction number we had in main this thing okay this main which is set to one we are incrementing it so transaction plus one and retry because we are not talking much about retry right here okay retry counter will be set to zero coming back if we see there are arguments to it which says you are passing the config file to it you are passing the transaction item to it you are passing the number of retries you are passing the transaction number the transaction number is in and out you send out one but you get two right so that is what is happening right here let me take you through the process okay this time i will place a breakpoint here to make you understand what is exactly happening over there i'm closing this particular thing okay we are all set let me debug it Sorry, this time that thing uh, you can also handle it okay next time let's see if we can handle it okay okay fine so it has read from that particular input it is showing us somewhere it has dropped this thing we have already seen okay let's click on continue there were message boxes over there it has come to process transaction state step into step into step into so it's going into the process XAML and here we have the value so we are able to use those particular values available in that particular transaction item okay I'm able to use them here too so it is coming out of that so there was no error there it has not gone to business exception or system exceptions so it has directly reached to set transaction state here step into and we are moving into this and then because there were no errors that we have got so it has reached to success sequence here we are going through each and every activity available and then moving to increment the transaction item so now if you can see if I just expand the values in the locals you can find the current values available in those particular things so right now it's two so from here if I just click on step into ok 
okay then step into then step into see it has come back to get transaction data so what's happening here is because you have the transaction was successful we have taken this particular transaction state okay because it was successful it has taken this particular transaction state transition and it has again come to get transaction data if it was a business exception because business exception is something that we already know so it will be sent to get transaction data again so that it can move on to the next transaction but if it was system exception it will be sent to initialization state again so that we can come from the state of where we have uh, we were downloading the excel we were opening the applications and all that okay okay fine so here we have again come to this and this time the transaction number is two for us step into it is going through this 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 time also it's true because as you can see the transaction number is two if I just click on step into again okay, it has assigned the value and you can see this line the name is J this is the second value that we had in our Excel like this if I just click on continue what will happen is it will go through each and every transaction because there's a breakpoint it's dropping the I'm removing all those things continue so it's going through all the uh, here also I'm removing it so it is going through all the particular records available in that okay this is how it works so once this records are done what will happen as you already know it will be there will be no no more transactions available there will be no more transactions available so there is an error because though there are no uh, nothing available okay this time because we are done with the transactions the transaction item value will be nothing but we are trying to access something out of it because there is no value it is throwing an error else what would have happened is because there is no data in it no data will lead to end transaction and it should have ended the process that was about the mechanism of how it's going to work